Did you know you can stamp images directly on your pattern papers? Yep, you can. And the results are absolutely amazing. So today I have two fun card making ideas to share that involve stamping on your pattern papers. Hi, it's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this episode of Stamptastic TV, you will learn how to stamp on your pattern papers and then use the patterns as a way to color or fill in your large stamped images. I will share two different ways you can use pattern paper to dress up your stamped images. By the end of this video, you will have some fun ways to stamp on your pattern papers and to create some unique cards. For the latest card making ideas, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell so you will be notified each time I upload a new video. So first, let's talk about the supplies I use to create these two cards. We are going to start with the flower card. So first, we will need some cardstock to coordinate with the colors in the pattern paper that I chose. So for this card, I am using Lovely Lipstick cardstock for the base of my card. Cut a five and a quarter by four inch piece of black cardstock, a five by three and three quarter inch piece of white cardstock. You will need a four by four inch piece of your favorite pattern paper. So I am using one of the pattern papers from the All My Love Designer Series Paper Pack, which is a new paper pack coming out in the 2019 Occasions Catalog. So if you don't have the new Occasions Catalog, I would be happy to send you one. The products are absolutely amazing, so you can request your very own copy simply by clicking on the link below this video. You will also need some black ink, and you will need a stamp set. So for this project, I am using one of the images in the Beautiful Day stamp set from Stampin' Up! You will also need just a scrap piece of green cardstock, so any green cardstock will do, and a little corner punch. Now this corner punch is optional. If you don't have a corner punch, you don't need it to create this card. Um, it just adds a little nice effect if you do have one. And the last thing we need is our scissors. So that is for card number one. Okay, this first card involves stamping directly on your pattern papers to fill in the image. You are basically coloring in the stamped image with the pretty pattern on your paper. So let's start by prepping our supplies. Cut a five and a half by eight and a half inch piece of lovely lipstick cardstock. Score the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches to create the base of the card. Cut a five and a quarter by four inch piece of black cardstock. Adhere it to your card front. This will serve as a mat for the stamped images. And finally, cut a five by three and three quarter inch piece of white cardstock. Add a little punch design in the upper right hand corner using the detailed trio punch. If you do not have a corner punch, you can skip this step. The card will look beautiful with or without that little design in the corner. Next, stamp a sentiment on the bottom of the white cardstock using black ink. Adhere the entire white piece to the black matting on your card front. Now let's create the focal point for the card. This is the beautiful flower stamped on pattern paper. So cut a four by four inch piece of pattern paper. Now that we have our pattern paper ready, stamp the flower image from the Beautiful Day stamp set directly on the pattern paper using black ink. Grab your scissors and cut out the flower. Since this is a large image with thick black lines, it's pretty easy to cut out the image. Now find a scrap piece of green cardstock. Any color green will do. Ink up just the leaf image on the flower and stamp it on the green cardstock. Cut out the leaf image and adhere it over the stamped leaf image on the pattern paper. This green leaf will accent the flower nicely. Add a few dimensionals to the back of the flower and adhere it to your card front. That's it. Now how pretty is this pattern paper flower? And you can use any pattern papers in any color to recreate this card. Just think of all the possibilities. Okay, let's talk about the supplies that you need for card number two. So for this card, I am going to be using the Coastal Cabana cardstock for the base of my card. Next, I am using a five and a quarter by four inch piece of white cardstock. This is the piece that we will do our stamping on. 
I am also using a four by four inch piece of the Tea Room Specialty Designer Series paper. This is the piece that we will use to create the different patterns within the butterfly. You will also need some black ink. And for this project, we'll be doing a little bit of coloring within the butterfly. So I'm going to be using two different color stamping blends. So we will use the stamping blends and we will use this pattern paper technique to create the pretty pattern on our butterfly. Again, we will be using the same stamp set, the Beautiful Day stamp set. And we will be using this corner punch, the Detailed Trio corner punch. And you will need your scissors. All right, I think we're ready to get started. Now this next card also involves stamping directly on your pattern papers to fill in the image. However, in this case, we will be cutting out just a few different pieces of the pattern paper to accent or color in the different parts of the butterfly. So let's start by prepping our supplies. Cut a five and a half by eight and a half inch piece of Coastal Cabana cardstock. Score the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches to create the base of the card. Cut a five and a quarter by four inch piece of white cardstock. Add a little punch design in the upper right hand corner using the detailed trio punch. If you do not have a corner punch, you can certainly skip this step again. Stamp a sentiment on the bottom of the white cardstock using black ink. Stamp the butterfly image just above the sentiment using black ink. Cut a four by four inch piece of pattern paper. I am using one of the patterns from the Tea Room Specialty Designer Series paper pack, but you can use any pattern paper that you have on hand. Stamp the butterfly image from the Beautiful Day stamp set directly on the pattern paper using black ink. Grab your scissors and cut out a few different pieces of the pattern paper to use on the butterfly. Use the stamped image on that pattern paper as a guide to cut out different sections of the butterfly wings. For this card, I cut out six different sections of the wings from the pattern paper. Adhere each piece of pattern paper to the coordinating section of the butterfly that you stamped on your white paper. Once you have added all the pieces of pattern paper to the butterfly, then grab your markers and color in the rest of the image. Alternate the colors to create this beautiful butterfly. Once you have achieved the desired look, adhere the white cardstock to your card front. Now you have created a pretty little pattern butterfly card. And remember, you can use any pattern papers to create a variety of unique little butterflies. Just get creative with it. So what did you think? Have you ever stamped on pattern paper before? Leave me a comment below and let me know if this is a brand new technique or if you've done this before. And if you are excited about these projects, then be sure to download my printable tutorial. The tutorial features a complete supply list and written instructions for creating all the projects I have shared with you today. You can find the link in the description below this video. Now you have some fun ways you can use pattern paper to dress up your stamped images. It's a unique card making idea and a great way to color in your stamped images. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it and sharing it with your friends. And leave a comment below to let me know what you enjoyed most about the video and the projects shared here today. Have fun getting creative. Take care and I'll see you soon.